Welcome to Tech Altum tutorial. In this video, we will learn how to create a jQuery lightbox. So jQuery lightbox. So to create a lightbox, create a div with some hyperlinks and image inside. Let's say the path of image is a small thumb image. So in my document folder, go to plugins, go to new folder, go to lightbox, and go to photos. And there are two types of images. One is image one, and one is a thumb of image one. So always choose thumb image. So this is my thumb image. So thumb means the small image. Okay. So this is a thumb image, which is light. Weight image is just 72 by 72 pixels. So this is a thumb image, but there's another large image. So just add the or that image, which is image one dot jpeg in href means the path. Now if we click this, the large image is opening. Okay, but we want the same action, but not here. Okay, in pop up. Okay, so to add this image in a in a pop up, we have to use this thing. So now, this is first a, a. Let's say the second image is two, and this is the path. And again, we have the last images, image three. And for third image, this is the path. Okay, so this is image one, this is image two, and this is image three. Okay, so these are three images. Now, start with the code. jQuery light box. Okay, so this is normal hyperlink effect. And now start creating the light box effect. So how to create a light box effect? The click will be of dot fix hyperlink. So if the class name is dot fix space a, so that we have three hyperlinks dot on click a callback and first thing is stop default action of hyperlink so if you click this nothing is going to happen now okay so see but if this is not there so this is the default action so first thing is stop default action of hyperlinks now we have three hyperlinks so there dollar this means the active hyperlink where we have clicked so dollar this means the current hyperlink dot is attribute which attribute href now store this in a variable so where uh, path is equal to dollar this dot attribute href so now let's check what is this path the path is the href of that hyperlink. So if we click this, this is the uh, absolute, uh, you, sorry, this is the relative URL of first hyperlink, this is the URL of second, and this is URL of third hyperlink. Okay, so both are different, all are different. Now, second thing, we have to create a popover. So to create a popover with C in CSS, let's start uh, with the div. So first, let's create an overlay. So overlay is a black colored window. So background triple zero with opacity 0 0.8, position fixed, left zero, top zero, and uh, width 100%, height 
height also 100%. Okay, so this is my overlay class. So now, and z index, let's say 100. So this is overlay class. So what the overlay class will come on a uh, content. So do this dollar body dot append. What to append? A div in body with class name should be overlay. Okay. Now we click this. See, this is your overlay class. Okay. So this is the overlay class. So body will append this div overlay. And uh, we are using opacity, I think. Nah? So instead of using opacity, use RGBA color. Okay, so this is RGBA color. And set this value to 0 0.7. Okay, or 0 0.75. So this is a overlay. So first thing is that create an overlay. Now, after this overlay or within this overlay, inside this create a new division, which is your popover. So this is your popover div with position fixed, padding 10, top let's say 100 pixel and left 50% and background white. Now body will append two elements first overlay and then pop over. So for the pop over, z index should be more, so z index should be 101 and background is white. Now let's check this. So this is my popover and uh, let's say the width of this popover is 300. So this is the default position, use transform to center align, transform, translate on x axis and value should be minus 50%. So by using this, this will remain in the middle. So see. This is the white overlay div in the center. Now, remove the width element. So width should be dynamic, automatic. Depends on your picture. If picture is large, the size of this pop will be a big one. If picture is small, the size will be small. Now, this is my popover when we click this. To hide popover, create a function. So function is reusable, close, this is the name of function inside jQuery. So function name is underscore close. So what this function will do, this function will remove dot overlay comma dot pop over. So use jQuery remove function. So when we close call this function, this will remove these two elements from the DOM. Now, the first thing is let's use escape key. So dollar window dot key up function and the key code is 27 for escape key check. So now this is pop over press escape key. Okay, it's not working dollar window dot key up function if key double equal to 27 okay one second for escape okay i think uh, if e dot which is 27 okay now press escape key and see it's here so this means the key code is 27 so this means we have pressed escape key so if escape key is pressed what to do call the function so function name is underscore close so say this 
if you press escape key dom will remove these element press escape key remove this and if again press escape key so these elements will be removed from the dom so how these things are working now open dom so now click this you can see the two elements pop over and overlay now press escape key these two elements are removed from the dom clear how these things are working so when we click this these two elements are there in the dom and when we press escape key they will be removed see this there is no overlay and pop over in our dom now now within this overlay we have to add this picture so the picture path is already stored in a variable the name of variable is path so dollar dot pop over dot append what img so append the image and dot pop over dot space img dot which attribute src should be equal to path variable so the path the src of this image should be path so path is the variable see now this is the first image now press escape this is the second image press escape third this is the third image so even see the size is different different for this image this is the size this is the second image which is large and this is the third image which is again large so first image this is the size of pop over now i'm just pressing escape key we can also add some more functionalities like in pop over we can add a close button caret button so for that what to do dollar pop over dot append what to open let's append a button and within button ampersand times is there so this is a times button now oh, but we can't see this button dollar body not the body pop over pop over dot append so within pop over append a button so we can see this button but this but button will come at the top so change the position of this button dot pop over space child button for the child button what to do position absolute right zero top zero and for the pop over already the position is fixed border on pixel solid so this is the position remove the border okay but it is not looking good so add more padding and increase the font size okay again add more padding or change the background to transparent okay so this is the button and change the cursor style to pointer okay so see this is the caret now the cursor is pointer so when we click this what to do remove pop over so the same function will be call so dollar dot pop overs child button dot click function call this function underscore close so if we click this okay this is not working 
okay so that means selector is wrong dot pop over child button dot pop over child button click function okay uh, you have to put this code inside this click function why on the page load there is no pop over so see on the page load when window is ready there is no pop over element okay so when we can see the pop over element when this is open so this is now the pop over is there in the dom so when we click this then pop over will be there in the dom so now add your code here because now pop over is there now so now click this and press close icon see this is working click this now the last functionality we are going to add is that if we click outside this like there again this will hide so this is the click function of overlay so where is the click function okay this is so on the click of popovers button and dot overlay so overlay is the black color content see now this is overlay click overlay this is hiding click cross again this is hiding okay see now and check your dom so in dom we have only thumb images see the resource size is low if we click this then the next image will be loaded if we click this the next image will be open and if we click this now these images are loading in dom okay so this is how to create a simple jquery light box without using any third party plugin with your own coding so this is the code we have to create use to build a jquery light box